I'm out here today to denail and organize this uh, wood here that we ripped out that was the banquet seating that I made that was awful. Uh, this originally was our baseboards in a big chunk of the house and I'm now going to rip the nails out size it up and I'm going to make a bunch of signs and hopefully if things work out I'll get to go out to uh, Paragon Ridge Ranch's store Beeline Feeds in Mounds, Oklahoma the first Saturday of every month they have a a vendor sale you pay and you set up out in their parking lot she does have to approve what you take and sell and so i'm going to try and get my stuff ready in time and hopefully we'll get to hit it in september it may be october but uh hopefully things are looking like i'm going to have a lot of time for for the crafting after all uh, we was thinking maybe we weren't going to have so much time for it but i think we're going to now so anyway Let's denail some wood and try to size it. I know I'll have to, uh, you know, do a lot of cutting, but I had this old frame out here just going to waste. And so y'all remember this frame because I will repurpose it and use it and it will go out to uh, Oklahoma as something. Because right now, I'm going to try and get rid of everything I got laying around, get this place cleaned up, organized. We would like to, you know, downsize, as we've talked about a million times. And uh, we got a lot of fixing up to do and a lot of getting rid of junk to do. I'm not even going to start measuring
yeah, you saw me just stagger there. Well, I just got out of my boot four days ago. And the first, second day, I did so much. It swole up way past my shoe, my ankle. Those boots make your ankle weak. And that's what I'm dealing with. They, I, they asked me if I wanted therapy. I said, no, I got enough therapy to do around my house. So I wasn't about to go. So I work real hard at walking heel toe, trying not to limp, because you just have a natural limp after so long with that boot. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not drinking. That was my weak ankle. Yesterday, I just so happened to be walking through the house and I, there's a big window in the eating area and I looked out in the coat and he was right there at the fence. Just trotting along, you know, minding his own business, being in the woods as far as he knew. And so, with my cats out here, I came hurrying to the door and I opened it. And by the time I opened it, he's probably about... 20 feet from where I'm standing and it's still in the woods and uh, as soon as he heard the door crack he turned and went back and I hollered and he scooted but man that's just he was not a small coyote either so I just heard something but I got squirrel I got some hawks out here the other day I was sitting in the window grinding some chicken meat because that's the only place I have it. My grinder will clamp on to the window field. I have to grind in a little bowl and then I dump it. But I was sitting there and I saw a big bird come flying in. And I watched and I couldn't tell what it was at first, but it landed. It was a red-tailed hawk. And he just reached down at the ground and pulled up a snake about that long. And he did one shake and went and threw his head up and swallowed that thing whole. And then it looked, I think it could sense me moving or something in the window. It looked and it took off, you know, did that squat and take off. But I'm like, thank you, I guess. I don't know what kind of snake it was, but thank you. Uh, hopefully it wasn't one of my king snakes. I got like three or four, I know I got three varieties of king snake out here. And uh, last year I saw two that were probably a year old. And I hadn't seen none this year. Oh. When we moved in, we had a huge, huge one that was around. It's mostly the spotted king snake, but we do have another couple of varieties. It scared me at first until I could identify them. See, I look at it like this. I'm in, I'm in their area. I demand respect for my yard area and I'll move things on and if I have to kill it, I'll kill it. It's a danger. But I prefer to move things on and have patience and wait. And things will change, they'll move on. Wild things don't like people unless you feed them. So don't ever feed the wild, don't feed the wild things. You know, birds are okay. So, as y'all can see, oh Lord, look at my hair. Um, I got all the nails out and I'm fixing to cut up signage. Right here I have one, two, three, four, five, five signs that 
are what I want to make five signs and they are just a little over 10 and a half by 21 and I think that'll give me plenty of room for some good verbiage to go on there I have a, quite a few things I want to put on these signs and I have some easels little easels so I am going to make some tabletop size signs which are 10 by whatever but uh yeah I got a few little small things I can do and I just I like a good sign at a good price it has a good statement that you can put someplace and just leave it for you know a couple years or whatever this is about as upcycling as you can get this will be the third use and the final use of this wood in our family so what I'm gonna do is just lay this down and I am going to square up my ends here I got gook on here, so I'm going to spin it around, and I'm going to get these lined up on here, and then I'm going to flip it, and I'm going to come up here, I have no room to work, I have a whole yard, and I ain't got nowhere to work, so I'm going to come whack them right there and that would be another decent soft sign my blade's not worth a flip I will have to do some hand sanding, so. So it's almost 11:15 in the morning and it's not really hot it's just so humid you can't help but sweat and um I'm making good headway I just put my saw up because it's just it's just hanging in the air it should be raining <laughs> it's it's not but um I got my wagon loaded down i got my wood cut up for my signage uh i still have this right here which is um big enough pieces that i i've got some primitive table legs with a skirt i may actually make a table uh i really need a table with fold down legs a nice primitive looking table to take to sales uh i'm not gonna be able to get a trailer hitch if they want an arm and a leg and i'm not doing it sorry i refuse to be sucked into the high prices that are going on right now i can do without so what am i doing now you might ask well i'm going to make fall colors and paint pine cones because they're beautiful in glass jars or in a basket. Yeah, you'll see. Mm -hmm. 